these days, it seems that everybody is uh, very much concerned with staying healthy and um, healthcare awareness. And to celebrate that and to have a special event featuring, uh, to feature it, today we have two special guests with us. We have Diana Simmons from the uh, Mulberry Chamber of Commerce and Helen Sears from Central Florida Regional Planning Council. And you ladies are here to talk to us about the Mulberry Health Awareness and Wellness Expo. Is that right? That is That's correct. Right. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank much. you. So this um, this event is kind of a mouthful, Diana. Tell, <laughs> tell me a little bit about what this event is. Yeah, it, it, it is a mouthful, <laughs> but it, it, it's both um, not about, it's not just about awareness, but uh, just talking about wellness in our community of Mulberry. Uh, we are so fortunate. And again, this is a celebration um, because, uh, you know, we had uh, some challenges in our community where there were uninsured. There were people that had to travel long distances to try to get health care. And our community needed help. And um, Helen, you could probably tell them what we were really excited about is we were granted some resources through a Brownsfield um, type grant. And uh, that just kind of started to snowball to the point where we've recently just received a half a million dollars grant wow. in December of last year to um, actually break ground on uh, the facility. So this is a celebration and we're going to have this expo to just again build awareness not only in our city and our community and our county on what is um, a real important part of, of anybody's life and that's good health care. So I don't know if you want to tell them how excited we are and how we went through that challenge to get uh, the grant. Sure. Did you want to just give a little bit about sure. that background? As as we started working on the grant, which enabled the city to look at some properties and see if they were contaminated and could be a health risk for the community, it became clear that one of the great needs in the community was actually uh, a health care facility because there isn't any and hasn't been for a number of years. Uh, and there were many, many health needs. So we did receive a planning grant and were able to do some uh, research, both uh, surveying the community needs and looking at what is available in general to find out about what is needed. And as a result, as uh, Diana mentioned, uh, we wrote some grants and have been successful in getting funding for the clinic. But the clinic won't be available to people for a while. Okay. So in the meantime, how are people going to get their health needs met? Uh, there are other resources in the county. Uh, and so the committee decided that they wanted to develop this health expo. I always want to call it a fair. Yeah, but <laughs> no, yeah. Health so. expo to make all these resources known to the community and help them take some, of, some care of some of their health care needs right now. Okay, so this event, um, this event in April is going to be sort of like a groundbreaking for the clinic or as well as not necessarily groundbreaking for okay. the facility because they're still in the midst of getting that prepared. Oh, okay. So while that is, but we didn't want to wait. And we also did want to kind of introduce them to the resources that are in the county. So on April 13th, we're going uh, from nine to two at the Mulberry Civic Center in Mulberry, Florida. We're going to bring partners, which are all different types of health resources in our county, in our community that are available. Plus educate our community on just, you know, healthy eating and various other things that they need to know. What are the, what is their blood pressure? What is, you know, you know, how do you do a glucose check? Um, there's a high diabetic, uh, you know, population in Polk County. And there are people that don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. And I know personally, because I am one, and you know, you have to take care of yourself and make sure you know how to utilize all the resources that are available. Well, okay, talk to me a little bit about the partners that you're gonna have here at the Expo. Well, we're gonna have quite a few. Uh, there's gonna be some state and county health facilities there. We're also gonna have some private <laughs> um, different types of healthcare um, uh, individuals. Um, we're going to have uh, the, some schools uh, doing, some students actually doing uh, blood pressure checks, things of that sort, uh, making sure that they, you know how to check your glucose also. Um, we're going to have some medical management, you know, if you have different types of medications you're on, there's different resources that can help you there. Uh, we're going to have nutrition type um, partners there that will teach you how to manage um, your 
healthy needs for meals and also we'll have some healthy snacks provided by some of our um, different partners out there too. We're also going to have uh, Polk County Fire and Rescue there and they'll have a fire truck for the kids so that learning about how to be safe in your community. Uh, CPR demonstrations um, that's very important nowadays you never know when you might have to utilize that resource and uh, teaching you how to do that. Um, also we're going to in conjunction with it the American Legion uh, Post uh, 72 which is right there in Mulberry they do a youth day and they're going to have a lot of um, fun things for the kids such as a bounce house and face painting and uh, balloon artists in the library is going to be there doing story time so again healthy snacks um, getting outside being really um, you know just proactive in your health care yeah so it those sounds are like you're trying to really make um, health awareness a whole family event not just you know for the parents to to dictate but you know with the children's activities to bring in the kids as well. Well, that's right, and and <clears throat> big reason why is Mulberry does have a, a, a youth population, and with us, uh, with the parents having to travel so far to go for healthcare at this time, we just want to again celebrate and make them aware of what's coming, also the county, and bring those resources to them now so they can help them now mm -hmm. in the short term until that facility becomes, um, you know, something that they can take advantage of more locally. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the the future uh, facility. You mentioned that um, uh, that it's a brownfield. What, what, is, what does that mean? What is a brownfield? A brownfield is a site that a piece of land and it may or may <clears throat> not have a building on it that may or may not be contaminated by some kind of hazardous substance or petroleum. Uh, and so when we received the grant and the county was a partner in the grant and Mulberry and Fort Meade, uh, we uh, went to the cities and the county and said, all right, what properties do you know that may need some uh, assessment to see if they are in fact contaminated? An assessment was done on the property for the, that's now going to be used for the health clinic. It was found that in fact it was not contaminated, oh, which was a good thing. Yes. And the city has donated it as a site for the health clinic. Okay. So the goal is to have eventually a federally qualified health care clinic on that site. Okay, do you have a, a timeline or a hopeful time? Within the on? next two years. Okay. We'd like to have it much yeah. sooner, but as you know, it takes a while to put something this large together. Yes, I yeah. understand. <laughs> so Helen, let's talk a little bit more about the, the future site, uh, the future facility. You mentioned that it was going to be on a brownfield site. Well, what does that mean? What is a brownfield? A brownfield is a site that may or may not be contaminated, but it is perceived by the community to have some environmental problems. And I'd love to have folks who need that kind of help contact me. Okay, go ahead and give us your contact information. Helen, or H. Sears at cfrpc.org, Sears like the store, and my phone number is 863-534-7130 extension 124. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's get back to the event a little bit. Um, this seems like, uh, is there is there a cost at all to, for admission? No, it's actually free to all the community and everybody that <laughs> will great. attend. Um, the hours are from 9 to 2 okay. on the 13th of April at the Mulberry Civic Center. Um, and uh, again, the facility is, is going to be open with all kinds of resources there. And also to kick it off, the Mulberry <coughs> Chamber is hosting a 5K run walk okay. that morning at 7 o'clock to uh, 7.45 will be the registration. The race starts at 7.45. So even if you're walking it, it'd take you about 45 minutes. It'll be right down the street at the community center. Uh, you can get more information from the Mulberry Chamber at 863-425. 4414. You can ask for Monica or you can email them at uh, chamber at mulberrychamber.org. Uh, there's a cost, it's $25 up to August or up to April rather, uh, 9th, and then thereafter to race day it'll be $30. And everybody who pre registers will get a t shirt and a ribbon. There's snacks that are going to be provided um, by some of our sponsors uh, Butterfly Bistro. Classy Sassy Salon, um, uh, also Badcocks, and uh, Press Express also um, sponsor not only this uh, event. And then, you know, as for sponsorship 
we have some amazing businesses that are going to be set up at the expo giving out their free resources. All of them have given some different um, sponsor assistance through the, their co communication with us and helping us to set up the event. Well, that sounds great. I, I know sponsors are always greatly appreciated. Yes, very um, much. What about volunteers or anything like that? Do you need any other help? To put this expo on? Well, that's excellent. Thank you. Um, people can contact the chamber if they want to help with the race, and if they want to help with the expo, yes, they can contact actually Bonnie Titus, who is with the city of Mulberry. I'm just going to look here so I can make sure their phone number is 863 354 6552, or you can actually get her at Bonnie, B O N N I E, dot Titus, T I T U S. Um, uh, or uh, you can get her at uh, Bonnie at City of Mulberry, Florida, FL dot com. So she can contact okay. her. Okay. Well, um, we've got a little bit of time left here. T talk to me. Uh, give one last plug for why this event is so important for not just the City of Mulberry, but for the county, for all of the citizens. Oh my gosh, that's hard. <laughs> Healthcare. Well, you know, you know, our the biggest focus w is our children, and we want to keep them healthy. We want them to to learn and educate in our community, then stay here and be just good citizens in our community. Um, having a healthcare facility in Mulberry is going to help that even happen more so, not only for the children but also for their families. Um, being aware of it, knowing what resources are available. Um, I think a lot of people, unfortunately, get sick and and things happen that we don't like because they don't know what's there. So we're going to open that door with this expo on the 13th to just say, hey, this is what's in your county. This is what's in your community. This is resources. Let's have fun. Let's stay healthy. Let's just invest in ourselves and be just a good part of Mulberry, but not only that, the community. Yeah. So. Well <laughs> it sounds it sounds great. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Diane and Helen, for coming on the show today to talk to us about you know this this important need and the the, the celebration yes. on the thirteenth. Thank you. Everybody needs to come on out to this expo. It's going to be a great event, uh, not just for people who live in Mulberry, but for everybody in the county, for um, adults and kids, families. It's um, it's going to be a celebration of uh, wellness and health. The Mulberry Health Awareness and Wellness Expo is happening on Saturday, April 13th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Mulberry Civic Center. That's at 901 Northeast 5th Street in Mulberry, of course. And, uh, and demonstrations, there's going to be a fire truck. And to kick it all off, there's going to be a 5K run. Uh, registration starts at 7, and the run starts at 745. You can get more information about the entire event and the run and all that by um, contacting Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bonnie. You can get more information on the registering for the run or attending the, um, attending the expo or sponsorships by contacting Bonnie Titus at 863 or email her at bonnie at cityofmulberryfl.com. You can also go online to cityofmulberryfl.com for more information. And to find out more information about the different grant opportunities with the Brownfields and, uh, and everything that Central Florida Regional Planning Council is doing, you can contact Helen at 863-534 seven one three zero extension one two four